Hey, it's Willie Crawford here, and uh, I recently had a friend email me, a friend who uh, isn't as computer savvy as I am, and so he often asks me for technical advice. And he reached out to me and he said, Willie, I've got this file on my uh, computer that's a Macintosh file, uh, and I can't open it. Can you uh, convert it for me? And I'm thinking, what do you mean a Macintosh file? I'm thinking, you know, it's got to be maybe uh, something that was created in, uh, you know, uh, Open Office or something like that, and that he just doesn't recognize the file type. So I said, oh, send it over to me, and I'll convert it. Well, he sent this file over to me, and I looked at it, and it said it was a Pages file. And I'm thinking, what the heck? So I uh, I looked at it, and I, I Googled Pages, and Google said that Pages is a, is a document created on a Mac uh, system. And so... Um, I had never, ever, ever used a page, seen a Pages file before, and I thought, oh, I can open it in OpenOffice and, and, and convert it. So I tried that. I opened it in OpenOffice, and OpenOffice opened it when I told it to open it under all files, but I couldn't see anything, and uh, so I told it to save it, and nothing happened. So I went over to Google, and I Googled Convert Pages to Word, and uh, I, I it suggested convert page to word online it didn't show me any I, I looked actually at several applications uh, that it mentioned in several things and I didn't see anything that showed me how to convert it there was one video on on YouTube that talked about converting but it showed how to convert it before the Macintosh owner ships it over so it tells them how to save it as a word document but once the uh, recipients receive the file if you're on a Windows machine I didn't see a way to easily convert uh, the document so and in fact you can look here and see how to convert pages to the doc without a Mac so there, apparently somebody's asking questions here and I see they're talking about simply cutting and pasting into Word, so it <laughs> apparently isn't that easy if you've got to cut and paste. And here it talks about converting iWorks to Doc. There's a, there's a major geek forum. So a lot of people are talking about doing that, and, and there's questions over at Yahoo Answers. So apparently it's not that easy to do. Uh, it talks about how to convert a, a page of document to Word on my PC. Again, lots of people asking about it. So uh, what I did was I, I saw the one that said here, convert it online. And that's at uh, Zamzow. So I went over to Zamzow, which was the name I recognized. I've used their software before to convert things. It's a free file conversion uh, site. And uh, it says free online file conversion. So I'm going to click through the Zamzow and see what I get here. And uh, let's see. It talks about opening PowerPoints. This is their blog, actually. Uh, Convert more, convert faster. Zamzow account new. I actually have an existing account, but I'm going to set up a new one just for the heck of it. Uh, okay, it talks about they've got a basic plan, which is seven dollars a month with no contract. Free conversion is good, but sign up below to get uh, a bunch of extras. So they do have a free account. Uh, I want to use their free account. Uh, and to get their free account, let's see. I'm going to sign up. Nah, I don't want to. I, I don't want to to show you how to spend money. I want to show you how to do it for free. So let's go back to home. And see what happens. It says okay. So I went to their homepage at www.zamzow.com, and it says choose file. So I click choose file, and uh, my friend's name is, his name is actually Lacey. So I saved the file in a folder called Lacey. Let me find that first of all. Right here, and uh, this is where I try to convert it, and it showed the. Uh, earlier when I tried to convert it using open office it showed something but there's nothing there because it's only a 9k file and I'm trying to convert a 312k file so I'm going to upload it it says choose file and the next step is choose the format to convert to I want to convert it to .doc which is a, a word or windows file format and enter the email address to receive the, the converted file so I'm going to put in uh, one of my email addresses um, willie.crawford at gmail.com and ask you not to spam that one uh, because then I have to set up more filters or close the account down. But willie.crawford at gmail.com. And then you, uh, it tells you the terms of service, but uh, click convert. And it says about to convert one file from pages to doc. The link to your converted file will be sent to your email address. Please click OK to start or cancel. So I click OK and it says it's uploading the file. And it says 100% complete. So what it just said is that the file, your file was successfully, has successfully finished uploading, will now convert 
your file as soon as it's done we'll email you to let you know where you can download your file from and I know beyond a shadow of a doubt that in under five minutes I will get an email with that uh, former dot pages file converted to word and it will be uh, sitting in my inbox so uh, the answer to how do you convert a uh, a, a Mac file to a uh, Windows file is not a stupid question uh, or not an unreasonable question but it's a perfectly logical question and the answer is you go to Zam, I'm sorry, Zamzar, Z -A -M -Z -A -R com, and you upload the file for free and tell it what format you want and it shows up in your email uh, a, a little while later so um, I, I don't need to log into my email and, well I could I actually could log into my email and see if it's there um, Zamzar conversion converted file from Zamzar right here I click on the link and uh, it invites me to sign up let's display images and see what we have here in the inbox it invites me to sign up but uh, it says click on click on the following link to download a copy of your converted file so I'm going to click on that download your converted file download now I download it and this showed uh, it downloading over here and it does show us a Windows format so I'm going to double click on that and see what I have I won't show you where it downloaded to I don't and all the other files and stuff in that folder it's taking a while to open for some reason Oh, there it is. It's because this is a fairly new machine. I don't have uh, Office products installed on this machine, and the reason I don't is because I use uh, Open Office mostly. And uh, this is a business plan, so I won't show you the rest of that. But there you are, a file produced on a Macintosh computer, saved in a Mac or dot pages format that's now been converted to a word document this is Willie Crawford thank you for listening if you want to know how to do more geekish things well the first thing you should notice is that all I did was Google how to do it and Google pointed me to a resource but actually Google pointed me first of all to a resource on um, YouTube where the guy shows how to convert the file before the Mac user sends it over to the uh, the Windows user and so I already had the file didn't want to go back and forth back and forth so I found a way to convert it and uh, you can see down here uh, it's a 14 page file uh, I found a way to convert it uh, for free uh, by just googling the term but anyway you know if you want to learn how to do a lot more geekish things uh, from me uh, I invite you actually to go to a a free membership site called Loyalty Pays where I teach people how to do a lot of geekish things to include affiliate marketing uh, well a lot of marketing related things too like how to use solo ads, how to use social media how to build a list, how to generate traffic to your website those are things I'm really really good at but I also show you how to do geeky things like converting a document from one format to another when you have no clue where to start Bec and when I have no clue where to start no less so anyway this is Willie thank you for listening and uh, it's telling me that um, it didn't. It's telling me that uh, because I'm running some stuff in the background, that my performance would have been optimized if I let it do some other stuff. I don't want to do that. I'm getting out of this program now. Saving this video, uploading it to YouTube.